Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Abhinav and I'm a junior at UC Berkeley studying computer science. And in this video, I wanted to share with you why I've started using Roam Research, a brilliant note-taking tool for network thinking for all my research purposes and what's been the single most important value add for me. Now, before I go into that, I'd like to talk about the philosophy of Roam Research and the reasons I've started using it. First question that comes to mind is what essentially is network thinking? And network thinking is the antithesis of linear thinking. And it's the idea that thoughts are not linear, they're essentially interconnected. So let's say that you're studying linear algebra and you come across the concept of eigenvalues. Now, linear thinking would be the concept that you just learn about eigenvalues and you just move on. Whereas network thinking would be the idea that you learn about eigenvalues and you look for applications of eigenvalues in real life be it in machine learning or neural networks or most importantly, Tony Stark's Mobius strip. Moving on to the second part of the video, which is the reasons for using Rome Research. That said, I've started using Rome Research for two reasons. The first one is rabbit holes. The best thing about Rome Research is that it has these bi-directional links, which is the idea that one page links to another and the other page links back to the first one. And in both the pages, you can see how one page links to the other while the other links to the first one. The use case of this is that let's say you're researching something to do with coronavirus and you type in coronavirus, you can essentially use two square brackets to just write the keyword coronavirus, which essentially creates a new page. And then when you enter that page and you type in another keyword, let's say infection rate, that infection rate will link back to coronavirus and coronavirus will be linked to infection rate. And just having this structure in mind and having the confidence that the software is doing that for you behind the scenes, even though you may not realize it, is something that I find extremely useful later because I can create these rabbit holes for myself. It's essentially like a personal Wikipedia. And that's something that I really find cool and important because when I'm doing my research, I find this to be extremely effective. The second reason I use Chrome Research is mind maps. Basically, the idea is that after you have created your notes in prose format, you can just toggle a view and view all your notes and how each node is connected to another node in the format of a mind map. And you can then play around and again, click on them and go deep into a rabbit hole and then come out. And I found that process really cool and exciting. And that's why I've started using Roam Research. So with those two questions answered, let me show you how I use Roam Research for my research purposes. This time I'm researching the mask debate on coronavirus, which is about whether we should or shouldn't wear masks. So the first thing I do is to create a coronavirus bi-directional link. And I start typing. The coronavirus is spreading fast because there's a huge debate between whether the virus is airborne or not. Now, if you notice, I've essentially created bi-directional links for all keywords that may be useful in the future. And over here, there are coronavirus and airborne. So I then continue with my research, documenting things along the way. And this is where the beauty of Rome research sort of manifests itself. So as I dig deep into rabbit holes and go from one link to another, I'm essentially creating these automatic references and connections among many different topics. So in this case, I look up aerosols, I click on the word airborne, copy and paste the relevant excerpt, and you see how Rome research essentially creates one linked reference to the earlier paragraph. So I can now easily click on coronavirus and go back to where I came from and still not lose track of my research. I can then go back one step above and to the homepage to see where this rabbit hole essentially started from. And that to me is the single most important value add that sort of Rome research provides. It allows you to go deep into anything without losing track of the big picture. And that is just amazing because you, you see that you've created these trees and these milestones for yourself but you haven't really lost track of the entire forest. And that is just fascinating because once you've, once you come out of that rabbit hole that you've created for yourself and you see how Rome research has done these wonders for you, you essentially just absorb the information much better. And that is exactly what happened when I was doing this research. And so I continue doing this with multiple sources, I want to build my chain of network thought and something that is incredibly useful to me. Soon enough, I'm done with my research. I know exactly what is placed where, and I then zoom out. I'm able to see my mind map just 
displayed on one page. I can then play around with it, do a bunch of things, and that to me is pretty cool. So yeah, that was just a quick preview into how I use Roam Research. I find it's a pretty useful tool, especially for research purposes. I use Notion on the side for mainly documenting my life and sort of cataloging everything and just organizing things. But Roam Research I use particularly for research purposes. And I think just integrating these two and knowing exactly what to use, uh, what tool to use, what purpose for is incredibly useful. And therefore I highly recommend using Roam Research also. Thank you.